In this video, I'll show you how to create stunning architectural elevations very fast and fully customizable. It's super simple and all you need is this section box add-on. So you'll learn how to make elevations in Blender the easy way. Plus, once I covered how to use this powerful feature of section box, I'm gonna share with you how to export your elevations as DXF files in just one simple step. Hi, I'm Ruben. Today, we are about to revolutionize your workflow with the section box add-on. So if you ever tried to create elevations in Blender by hand, you'll understand that it's close to impossible. So I've spent a ton of time developing this feature as part of section box, letting you create elevations in one click. Just three straightforward steps, you'll be able to create elevations whenever and wherever you want. We'll install the add-on, summon the mighty section box, and finally, generate a stunning elevation boy. And make sure to stick around for the end, where I'll reveal how to export them as DXF. Let's get started. If you haven't already, you can get the section box add-on through the first link in the description. Once you've downloaded the add-on.zip file, simply install it like any other add-on. However, if you're not familiar with this process, I made a short video about it, which you can check out now in the info box. Now we are already not far away from creating the elevation. So step two is creating the section box. Therefore select all the objects you want to include, then right click and choose create section box. By the way, if you want to learn more about the basics of section box, I highly recommend checking out my first video about it, which you'll find at the end of this video or in the description. Anyway, now it's time to specify from which view you want to create the elevation. Therefore, select the side or plane of the box by clicking the handle in the middle of it. If you want to combine your elevation with the cross section, you can now position the plane by dragging the handle. But more on that in a moment. First, we want to create a plane elevation. Therefore, just leave the plane like it is. In my case, I quickly reset the box with backspace. Finally, we are ready to create the elevation. Navigate to your end panel and go to the section box tab. Among all the other settings, which are covered in the other video I already mentioned, you'll find the elevation generator right here. But before we hit create, we want to increase the detail a bit. Because we have some round elements with low angle edges, we want to catch in the drawing as well. Let's hit create and see how it's looking. Don't worry, this can take a moment because of the huge amount of calculations needed to generate the drawing. Here we go, look at this beauty. Can't wait to customize it. But before, let's see how it works in combination with the cross section. Therefore, we drag the plane a little bit into the building where we want to have the cut. So, this looks good to me, but now you'll notice that the elevation button is grayed out. That's because we need to create the cross section first. So let's do this. Here it is and now we can create the elevation on top of it. What a drawing. Let's customize it. So that we can better differentiate between cross section and elevation. We can adjust distance, line thickness and color. So let's make the elevation a bit more subtle by reducing the line thickness a bit. And if you like colors, why not give the cross section a blue shade? So that's already how you can create elevations in Blender. But I have one thing left for you. Earlier in the video, I said I'd also share how to export them as DXF files. And that's what we'll look at now. It's just one tiny step. Click the little export button next to the file format setting, saying DXF by default, right here. Now, choose the location where you want to store the file. Also, consider enabling the cleanup option on the right, to get rid of any unnecessary points in the drawing. And that's how it's looking. Of course, the lines are properly distributed into a cross-section and elevation layer, so that you can work with them independently. If this was helpful to you and you don't want to miss the next one, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a like. It really makes a huge difference. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer you as soon as possible. Now, if you want to learn more about the capabilities of section box, 
setting up architectural sections, saving views and more, I highly recommend checking out my video on screen now. Or if you're interested in how I cleaned up the mesh I was using in this video, check out how Instant Clean does it for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.